In a traditional campaign, every candidate is incented to find their votes and to not think about other people's votes. And then obviously in a runoff, in an RCV setting, uh, we are all pursuing not just number one votes, but number two and number threes, which means that there is a strong reason for us to be very positive, to reach out to folks with much more positive messaging, which I think, frankly, is probably a good thing for campaigns. Um, I think it reduces but does not eliminate negative campaigning. Um, and, uh, and it means that we are constantly reaching out to many, many more and diverse constituencies than we probably would be in a typical first so to the post race. How do you position yourself if somebody says, wow, I'm really dedicated to Leland uh -huh. What do you say to them in terms of, because you, you obviously still need to capture that number two uh -huh. or number three uh -huh. position. So I'm always asking, I'm always asking people for number twos and number threes, okay. always, regardless of who their number one is. Yeah. Um, yeah. And so what is that? find that for me is that kind of a humbling experience to, to say to somebody you know no it's don't not just actu actually me, you know put me as your number two or number three or how do you, how do you it, view it actually it? i view it differently in that yeah. in the past if someone said i'm an ex i'm uh i'm a uh you know i'm with you or yeah. whoever i'm with mike yeah. i would say thank you for your time and not need to not need to invest any more time yeah. now if they say i'm with dennis i'm with leland i'm with Bevan Dufty, I'm with Michaela Elliott here. I, I always say, great, appreciate it. Um, but as you probably know, you have two other votes, and I hope to get one of those votes, and here's why I hope to be one of your three votes. So that's always part of the candidate interaction. It makes the campaigning experience from the voter standpoint much more positive, because uh, if there's an undecided voter in the past, it would be about trying to get them to vote for you. So yeah. please vote for me as opposed to not voting for someone else. Right. In this context, though, um, you risk alienating folks that may drop out of the race in an RCV calculation before you do, and, and you want to make sure that uh, that they that they're, that they're with you. Do you think it's kind of a tougher way of thinking about your campaign because you're Absolutely. not only taking into account the other guy you're, you're it, trying it, to it, get it's, yourself into second? Or I think it is. Yeah. It is far more complex, and then you you add to that the complexity of the number of candidates we have in the race and all the different permutations. It's, it becomes this incredible um, math, kind of this this amazing analytical statistical uh, conundrum that all of our teams are wrestling with right now. I think if any consulting team tells you they have the answer, they don't. We're all we're all trying to figure it out.